Fox 61 continues another great year of our student news program where we feature stories from students all across Connecticut. And this morning, student news reporter Aaron Cromwell and Alessia Colley from Wilton High School are telling us how video production students are getting prepared for learning and working in the 21st century. At Wilton High School, the class video production aims to help students prepare for the future with technology. No. The video production room is set up as half a regular classroom and half a functioning production studio. The production studio serves as a more realistic setting for students while the classroom is an area where you can critique and improve our videos. The class is located near the chem wing at the school and is taught by Mrs. Naeem. Video production teaches students the skills that they need, authentic skills, how to communicate, how to write, how to persuade, and they do it in a digital manner. Students work with technology, editing, producing to really accomplish and create and produce products that are now going to be shared with the rest of the world. Students are introduced to editing, videography, and production skills. Video production class allows the students to share their talent with the rest of the community. They participate in different competitions, PSAs, documentaries, short film, any opportunity that they get, we want to share their work with the rest of the community. I took this class because I like um, observing my surroundings and trying to you know, capture that on camera and putting it out for the rest of the world to see it because I want the world to see the world the way I see it. I'm Erin. And I'm Alessia. And, and we're signing, signing off from Fox 61. And uh, joining us now, one of the two reporters you just saw, student Aaron Cromwell, as well as teacher Maria Naeem, who was featured in that story as well. Thank you for both being here today. Thank you for, Thank having, you for us. having us. Yeah, glad to have you here. Uh, let, let's start with you uh, first, Erin. How did you choose the topic for that story? Um, my partner, Alessia, and I were really focused on getting an idea that we both cared about and that, that was personal to us. Mm -hmm. um, so we kind of thought, what better way to do a PSA than about our class right now. Right. Um, because we were having so much fun in video production class and we were learning so much and Miss Naeem was doing such a great job that we decided, why not? And what was it like for you to see your story right here now on the news? Kind of surreal. I mean, it was really, it was really <laughs> weird to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Izzy, you did a wonderful job. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's always about keeping it moving and a nice little mix of sound bites from different people yeah. and tracks with it. And I think you did a great job with Thank that. You. I mean, I'll you're doing so. Great job. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's our first year at um, Wilton High School doing the program, but we're working on it. How yeah. have you seen the students progress even in just a few months? Um, there has been huge growth. We, I walked in and kids, some of the kids were like, how do you use the camera? How do you turn it on? <laughs> and coming up with stories was probably the most difficult, you know, and then angles we talked about. Yeah. So there's been great growth and I'm excited and I'm so happy that their work is really showing that. And you said this was the first year for the program. For Wilton, well, they've had video production. It's just been a different program. They've done a lot of short films. So this year is my first year at Wilton High School running the program. So we're trying to change it up a little bit. And it's amazing how extensive it is. I know I, I yeah. hate to date myself, but when I was back in high school, it was yeah. a, a camcorder and a, just a VCR. Yeah. That was it. But uh, this is, it's, it's so much more engaged now. Yes. And it, you can tell the, uh, the, with the production quality that, that's coming out of this that you're doing a great job. Oh, thank you. We, we enjoy it a lot. The kids are just so much full of energy. So it's been great. Yeah. Can you share some of the other reactions from the students? Over time, they've seen their stories. Yeah. Yes. Um, so last year when we started, because we have did it when we were in the middle school as a club and kids started to produce their videos and you know they're always anxious and a little nervous like oh I'm getting aired and then they're sending the mm -hmm. links to their families mm -hmm. so for today we, I know that Aaron was really anxious she's like oh my goodness this is really going on live and everyone's gonna see oh. it so they don't realize that the work they're doing in class actually has a bigger purpose and it it's really more meaningful is. and we're trying to make that authentic so they're not just doing work for a grade they're doing it for something bigger do you want to, Erin, either make journalism or video production a part of your career in the future? Or I definitely am interested in that. For right now, I'm focused on um, entering other competitions and stuff like that, and hopefully making that into a lifelong career. Wonderful. Well, well, glad. Great job. Yeah. Great start already. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and we're going to be continuing the conversation here about the importance of student news. It would not be possible without the great sponsorship and support of Big Y. We're going to talk with them in just a little while. Stay with us. And once again, special thanks. I mean, it's a long way to come up from Wilton to Hartford, but look at how many people from Wilton High. Come on, shout up, say hello. Stopping by, they're in our control room right now, just a couple feet away, getting an idea of what live television is like, guys. Thanks for being here.